Hello world, how are you all? Welcome to Coded Skills. In this today's video, we're gonna learn how to use Google and GeoNames API to detect the country of a user who are using your website and then translate the web page into their local languages. So if we are going to see the finished product, if I'm going to show you how what we are going to create in this video, so you can just see this is a web page. This is going to ask you for the location share. So I'm going to just allow it and then after some time he's going to detect uh, the which country you are living the country code and then um the country co language is available in that country so what you can do you can just use google button and just translate into the local languages available in that country so for making this i'm going to use geonames api and for using it you need to go and log in into geonames.org and i'm going to show you how this api works there is one site called ws.geonames.org and slash country code json and this will return you the json format of the latitude and the longitude that you are going to give it this is my latitude and this is my longitude now this is going to convert this into the country um, which country this latitude and longitude lies and then i am using my username for example coded skills so as you seen the finished code then let's go and i'm going to drop the code for you into this js workshop on my on my git repo so first uh, let's go first go to atom and uh, if i'm going to show you the code and i'm going to explain you it line wise so this is the google translate element we are going to use it for um uh, appending our google translator in this documentation in this um tutorial and then this is a demo uh, this is something uh, that we call debug i'm going to just make sure that i'm 100 percent sure that my code is working therefore i would give the country name and country code and the languages available in this country and then and their code and then i have a simple content here this is this can be your website and then i had given the source to our translate.google.com um, api and then what i had did actually i had just created the country languages variable that created one x variable which is getting the element by demo so now what i am doing right here i am i am executing a function called get location now what this do this will just take the geolocation and get take your current position according to the navigator now what this will do and we are going to execute a function show position which is right here now what this um, function do actually this function is going to take one more argument which we are going to use and we are going to just take the user country execute one more function called get user country right here and this take two parameters as we had provided it right here first is latitude second is longitude so now what we are doing we are creating the json array as an empty array and then we are running an xjx xml xml http request and we are opening the um, api's api code and just we are replacing the um, latitude that we got here with the latitude that we want and the longitude with our longitude and i am going to use my username but don't forget to sign up and use your own username and i am going to make async to false so now what here is going on when the state changes the content is going to be um, changed so what will happen we are going to take the content and pass it as a JSON. As you can see, that code that we are using here is a JSON string. So we need to parse it back into its original form. So when we are going to, um, then this is a simple code that is going to take the element by ID right here and uh, replacing each value. We are replacing the country name with country name and country code with country code. And the same we are going to do with country languages code. And we are going to change it with content dot languages. Now, this is the way we are going to translate our web page. So country languages is equal to content dot languages. And now we are just transferring this variable to this underscore D underscore language variable. So now what is going on right here? Actually, we are just run execute. We are creating an instance to Google translate element and we are included. Um, we had given it one parameter which contains included languages are the, which is equal to the languages that um, available in the country. And then we are just appending this element into the Google Translate element right there. So that's how it works. And don't forget to um, add the body on load is equal to function get location. Just because we are we want the location of our object or our user when the document loads. So we are then sending this XHTTP request to the server. 
so now as you can see that this is my finished product and uh, that's working fine and not only this it it also translates the web page back for us so if I'm going to show that to you I can just say file and then JS workshop that's where I created the index.xml and uh, wait for some time share your location and do uh, what wait for some time again and you can just um, say let me want to um, translate my page into French I need to wait for some time and then my page got transferred and translated into bonjour and the French so if you like the video subscribe the channel and uh, if you want the code of this video just go to the coded skills JS workshop I had available made it available for you and uh, if you have any doubts and like the tutorial just comment down below your ideas and innovations for me this will inspire me and uh, if you want to donate me some money then you can do me via paypal just donate one dollar i don't want more than one dollar from you and let's keep the aim of donation i want overall 14 don 14 dollar from this video so i hope you had loved this video and i will meet you in the next video with some more ex interesting topics and this is my first video for javascript workshop and i hope you will love this thank you